I am Melissa Gwynn and I teach drawing and painting at UC Santa Cruz in California. I'm an abstract painter who believes it's not possible to make an abstract painting and a representational painter who teaches artists to break down any painting to its abstract formal elements. In my courses, I prompt students to reinforce their individual way of seeing by analyzing the formal structure of their pieces. Fluency in formal language enables one to articulate their ideas and contribute to a continuum of artists who created meaning through visual statements. I witnessed the power of visual language in the late 80s when illiberal senators and preachers tried to control it. Artists mobilized to protect free speech from Republicans who decried some contemporary art and artists they found contemptible. I guess the art made them feel unsafe. Those poor sanctimonious patriarchs created quite a moral panic that led to defunding significant art institutions and individual artist grants. Despite the damage those illiberal folks rendered, artists exercised their free speech and made exuberant art fueled by creative opposition. My belief in the power of art comes with concern about the vulnerability of the First Amendment and a sense of responsibility to protect it. Because if we value freedom of art and ideas that we love, then we must also protect speech that we despise. As Ira Glasser said, speech restrictions are like poison gas. They seem like a good idea when you've got the gas and a deserving target in sight. But as he noted, the wind can shift and blow the poison back on you. Let's protect the air for freedom of expression and uphold your right to listen to ideas so offensive. They impel you to draw upon your fluency in formal language to articulate a compelling, maybe even beautiful visual retort. Thanks so much for listening.